So we're going to have a look at uh, Tom's Toast to Bar. Let's just watch a couple of reps and then we'll discuss what's going on. Okay, so we'll just come back to the beginning here now. So we're going to have a look a little bit at what's going on with Tom's toaster bar. So I'm just going to go right back to the beginning of where he starts his swing. Now you'll notice already that he touches the floor here and gives himself a little extra kick backwards. Can you see that around his feet? The toes are on the ground there and he gives himself a little kick backwards so that he gets more swing. Now as he gets that, that uh, swing and he starts to come forward, he starts to load here the hip. Okay, so there we've got a nice loaded hip in that position there, okay? However, the shoulder is completely closed, uh, completely open. Um, and we'd really like to see a little bit of that angle there. In other words, the chest being pushed a little bit further through. As a consequence of not doing that, you can see that the proportion of body mass behind the bar versus the portion of body mass in front of the bar. Okay, just pay attention to that because I'm going to come back to that um, later on. So he starts to swing, oops, going wrong way, he starts to swing through and you'll see that he initiates the swing feet first. Okay, so the feet are going first as he swings through. All right, the hip is still not engaged, so we're swinging the feet, we keep swinging the feet, nothing else is happening, the hip is not engaged. Here, from now, the hip starts to engage. So we have a quarter extremity violation there. The hip should be the first piece to engage, and then the feet should be following afterwards. Now, here, the hip is in line with the, uh, with the bar. Okay, it's in line with the bar, so he's in balance at this moment. Now the hip stays in line with the bar here until about this position here. Now from this position here, what's going to happen is, if we just watch that hip now, that hip is now in front of the bar, right? And as we keep going up, that hip gets further and further and further away from the bar. So that hip is now all the way out here. Um, and what that means is we have a lot more body mass on the right side of that bar than we do on the left. And what that's going to do is that's going to start dragging Tom under the bar. So you'll see there's a little bit of distance here between the bar and his shoulder and as he gets those feet up, what's happening to that distance? That distance is closing and that shoulder at the top now is almost directly in line with the bar. So if now I was to divide his body, all his weight is out here and maybe only 15% of his body weight is out there. right? Ideally that should be much closer to 50-50 so that as he comes down he doesn't go into that massive swing at the bottom. Right, so he comes down, and because that's there's so much body weight on this side of the bar that there's a huge swing now as he goes down and through. All right, now what that means is that there's going to be a lot of work on on Tom's grip, and it's a it's a very inefficient uh, technique in terms of kipping. So what we'd like to see a little bit more from Tom would be to hit that position straight away not all this backward swing back here developing all that momentum. Hit that position there and then from that position immediately engage the hip and push the butt back much earlier, right? So the, the butt goes back and we want to see this this uh, shoulder angle here close a lot more so that he's able to distribute the weight at the top of that toaster bar a lot more efficiently, a lot more 50-50.